Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay. Do you know that runway in use for takeoff and landing changes during night if aerodrome is located close to coastline near seashore? This happens due to reversal in direction of winds at night when sea breeze changes to land breeze. So in today's flight I'll take you through the topic of sea breeze and land breeze. So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for takeoff. All of you must have visited coastal area or sea beaches sometime in your life and you must have noticed that though the coastal area may be humid but it is windy pleasant wind blows during the day as well as during the night and you could have noticed that wind is stronger in daytime as compared to night this wind is not due to high or low tides of the sea since sea tides occur due to gravitational pulling effect of the moon This wind is a local phenomena in coastal areas near sea and pressure difference to cause this wind is created due to different specific heat capacity of land and water. In simple terms if we have to understand it it is just that water gets heated slowly and cools down slowly as compared to a land mass. If you go little technical 1 calorie of heat will raise 1 gram of water temperature by 1 degree and same amount of 1 calorie of heat will raise 1 gram of soil temperature by 5 degree so same amount of heat will raise the temperature of land 5 times more than the sea surface so there exists a difference in temperature of land and sea surface in coastal areas at all times so let's see how exactly it happens in day time land gets heated up more due to insulation from the sun it forces air to rise and low pressure is created over land and higher pressure over sea surface so air blows from high pressure area to low pressure area that is wind blows from sea to land during the day and it is called sea breeze wind speed is 10 to 15 knots depth of sea breeze is 8 to 14 nautical miles deep in land as well as into the sea So aeroplanes planning an approach and landing in headwind would fly approach path over land facing towards the sea so as to get headwinds on approach and landing. After sunset the situation reverses. Insulation from sun has stopped since sun has set. Now the cooling of earth has started. Land cools off faster as compared to sea surface and sea surface is hotter as compared to land surface. So hot air rises creating low pressure over sea higher pressure over land so wind blows from high pressure area to low pressure area that is from land to sea called land breeze speed of land breeze is approximately 5 knots weaker as compared to sea breeze depth of land breeze is 5 nautical miles deep both towards the land as well as into the sea so aeroplanes planning an approach and landing in headwind during the night would fly approach path over the sea facing towards the land so as to get headwinds on approach and landing so you see how the runway has changed in night for landing so land and sea breeze is a local phenomena and generally present throughout the year so hope this video has helped you in understanding the land and sea breeze and why its runway changes in night in coastal areas with this we have arrived at our destination subscribe the channel for more such informative videos on aviation Follow me on Instagram on the link as shown on the screen. Do not forget to comment below about how did you like the video or if you want me to cover a specific topic. Hope to see you on board again for the next flight. Till then, happy landings.